Sunday, 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 right here on twitch.tv slash Echoplex Media. It's the Plex, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific and on into red light. We have the worst news in the week that no one else will cover. The Plex has it all. Conspiracy, right-wing nut jobs, Christian extremism, and Madison Star Moon. Tune in every Sunday at 7 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv slash Echoplex Media and find our full schedule at echoplexmedia.com. <laughs> my house. Who are these people? I don't know. 20 motherfuckers hanging around. How long are they gonna stay? I don't know. 20 motherfuckers can't pay the rent. Why is it so expensive? I don't know. 20 motherfuckers riding Google buses. What's wrong with the regular buses? I don't know. Motherfuckers in my house today. Twenty motherfuckers say they're here to stay. Twenty motherfuckers always in my way. Twenty motherfuckers, twenty motherfuckers. And that means it's time for a local love. There's a bit of a change up. It's me. It's the media wench. And I'm hosting local love tonight. Hi, Twitland. Uh, if you're listening to us all night, then you um, have just heard uh, Down Ballot. Now we're cruising on into local love. If you're listening on the podcast, check us out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Echoplex Media. Uh, join our Discord, discord.me slash Echoplex. Check out our website, ecoplexmedia.com, for our full schedule of shows. And this week, uh, as we do every week, almost, on Local Love, we have a musical guest. And this week's musical guest, uh, they're here. <laughs> they're here. They were supposed to be here on the, what was it, the 6th? Yeah. And, uh, and 
fire kept them from being here. Good old California <laughs> fire. <laughs> but this is Catalyst. And um, we're very happy to have you guys. Thank you for coming. And um, go ahead and introduce yourselves. Tell you, uh, tell us where everybody where you can find uh, you on the interwebs and yeah, all that good stuff. All right, for sure. Well, my name's Alyssa. <laughs> my name's Cat. We should do it in like the other. Oh, order, we should do it. Though, no, sorry, so let's start again. Let's start again. My name's Cat, <laughs> and my name's Alyssa, and together we are Catalyst. Catalyst. <laughs> Ooh. Anyway. That's that. So, okay. The next question is always like, how did you come up with your name? But I think I could figure it out. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> and um, where are you based here in the Bay Area? In the East Bay. We do a lot of traveling, but uh, primarily spend most of our time in the East Bay. Good. Good stuff. And uh, and um, what do you got going on right now? How would you, uh, you become a group? Where have you been playing? Where was your first gig? Like, we're going to go through all of these, like... All of these questions. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> that works. Mm -hmm. How did Catalyst get its start? Well, we met actually in Davis, California. I was playing in a different band at the time. I was playing at a, in a psychedelic band called Blooming Fire. And we were playing at a local music festival called the Whole Earth Festival. Mm. Yeah, really cool festival. It's a zero, zero waste fest. Yeah, all about sustainability and, you know, that kind of thing. All vegetarian food, all biodegradable clothing. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a cool thing to check out. I think it happens in May every year. Mother's Day weekend. Mother's Day weekend. That's it. It was yep. that fateful weekend. I know. I always laugh because I want to go to uh, the Whole Earth Festival. And uh, my mother's like, but what about me? Anyway. <laughs> You're like, you can come to the festival. <laughs> it's like, no, I am the festival. You need to come to me. <laughs> and uh, how long goes that? That was in 2019. 2019. Yeah. yeah, before the pandemic. Yeah, thankfully. and so what did the pandemic do to you guys? You're just starting out. Uh, Yeah, well, w whenever we met, I mean, it was kind of a tumultuous time, but we pretty quickly fell in love and then started dating. And we didn't start writing music actually until the pandemic. So the pandemic really, really, I mean, gave us that time and like kind of forced us to when we're like alone too and we have nothing else to do we're like oh we, we have to write music we should do this we want to do this so we started writing songs and yeah. uh, lots of time to kill lots yeah. of things going on in the world that made us feel uh like you know having a creative outlet so it all was kind of the perfect storm for the beginning of our originals for sure and you can kind of see with our music too which we're on spotify we're on amazon we're on apple all the places but it, it definitely started out being very political based on the times and, and what we were feeling. Like we would go back and forth to Georgia to visit my family and hang out with them versus also hanging out in California. So we're, we're kind of a, an interesting mix of East and West Coast. But I think our first song that we finished and we finished the quickest, it was after an argument <laughs> slash talk with my family. <laughs> And then we just went in our room and closed the door and pinned down the song. Angrily scribbled. I think, do you remember the first time we played it for them? We were like, we wrote a song. We want we to show We played you. it for them literally the next day. It was <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, the kids want to perform for us. I know, I know was, right? It was actually hilarious because we're like, fight, 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 rage, rage, rage. We, like locked ourselves in our room. There was a bunch of noises. And then we came out the next day and we're like, we have a song for you. And then we're like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, oh, that's nice kids. Just like that. <laughs> It's all this song is called She Flicked Peas at Me Across the Table. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and according to them, they liked the song, but maybe they, they maybe they were the listening thing. to the words. They were just know? like, oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's, that's how it always great. works. You wrote out. a song. Yeah, you like you be, be bopping to the song for the last 20 years, and then you finally like nestle down and listen to the lyrics, and you're like, oh, this is trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, producer Dave has to catch a cat. <laughs> I told you, Big Orange has been persistent. <laughs> okay, so let me see. I know what you guys sent us. I think some of it we were listening to. Yeah, we've we've recorded some stuff. Most of it has been at home. Actually, three of the songs we literally recorded at our house. One of our friends came over and brought a bunch of sound equipment, mm -hmm. and we did our gave it our best shot to record it at the house. And it and it turned out pretty good, but still, it's not. Uh, it's not quite the same as being in a yeah. in a studio with 
access to all sorts of different types of gear this and is true that kind of thing and most of our gear is, play. yeah most of our gear is virtual we decided to, to go the other route <laughs> yep. yeah because all that stuff costs like more money than we're willing to invest oh for sure <laughs> like one microphone is worth more than my life will ever be so oh <laughs> I I understand. especially the nice microphones yeah, the, the, this wouldn't have any of those. <laughs> be worth two of you. <laughs> those uh, those SM7Bs, we turned we had one. We turned around and sold it for an entire computer that ran the whole podcast for oh, a while. Wow. It's like you know what? What's the smarter investment? Yeah, right. Let's, exactly. Uh, then it doesn't like it didn't really sound any much better than like the twenty dollar like Behringer one that we had. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and play. Okay, so I have two songs by you. I have Promised Land and I have Skyfall. Which one would you like to play first? Hmm, well, How about I guess, Promise Land? yeah, we'll play Promised Land. We released that one before Skyfall, and that's actually our first studio recording, too. And our, I think, first song that we put out that has multiple instruments, like not just all us playing it, but we've got our guest drums artists. on it. Yeah, yeah, and our friend Chris is playing guitar. Mm -hmm. And uh, any backstory to this song or anything you want to? Yeah, so, I mean, I'm from Georgia, and then I moved to Los Angeles right after I graduated college. And this song is pretty much about that i mean it's about someone moving to la i mean the tagline is the city of angels and devils mm. and, it, and it's kind of got kind both of the, sides of it the duality of yeah of moving to la how you know kind of the good side but also some of the the worst things that can happen when you move there like nice. the duality of following your dreams because there can be a dark side to that too all right so this is promised land by catalyst that's our musical guest for this evening and we will be right back on Local Love. Couldn't breathe the humid air Stuck inside a suburb stare I was Jack and you were Dean Riding roads paved with gold and green Stage. 
that was Promised Land by Catalyst. That's our musical guest for this evening. Um, Alyssa, right? I'm Alyssa and Alyssa. she's Kat. There Kat. You go. Kat, yes. tell us where you're from. Tell us about you. Um, I'm from the Bay Area originally. Grew up in the Bay. Went to school at UC Davis. Um, I have a classical background for the most part. Been in choirs my whole life. Sing with the San Francisco Symphony Chorus. Ooh. Um, so that's really fun. But I also learned how to play guitar when I was about 16 or 17. And so I learned I learned guitar um, at a music camp for adults called California Coast Music Camp. And it was really fun to kind of grow up in that environment where everybody was mostly playing a lot of really good folk traditional music like Joan Baez and Bob Dylan and Joni Mitchell and all that kind of thing. So you hear a lot of influence of that in the way that I play the guitar and and Fleetwood Mac and those kind of great bands. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Fleetwood Mac is one of those bands that kind of like transcends almost every genre, I think. Mm-hmm. There are they like do. metal bands that have been influenced by Fleetwood Mac. There are singer songwriters. There are jazz bands. Everybody, I think, can agree on that. Um, uh, Mick Fleetwood can shred. Yeah, yes, he's <laughs> so good. It's just so, 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 so good, and such good songwriting. Such good songwriting. Great harmonies. They yeah. got, they got it all. Really, and also is one of those one of those bands that um, proves that uh, inner band drama will get you a platinum album. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> true, and apparently a lot of cocaine too. Yeah. <laughs> so I hear. That's uh, right. So, lots of drama, lots of cocaine. Just yeah, lock yeah. yourselves in a room. <laughs> Good art will happen. Try not to kill each other, right? Or, or exactly. do I mean you know? Yeah, if you're gonna lock yourself in a room, do it with guitars and not like sharp objects. That's right. <laughs> kill each other with songs. I mean, that's pretty much they. They would like dig at each other with their songs. I mean, I think Lindsay wrote a song about their breakup and so did Stevie Nicks Mm -hmm. and dreams was what she came up with. And he came up with go your own way. Yeah. And that was both of their breakup songs. And now we talk about that go your own way song and a whole other context, but that's a whole other show. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, what do you guys, you guys travel a lot. So what was the last, um, what was your last tour? Like, what was your, did your last tour consist of? So our last tour was actually pretty recent. We really just got back. Right. Uh, We took all of August and we drove out to Boston and did shows on the way and on the way back. And we were going out there to record. So record. We actually did a crowdfund with a studio out there. Like we partnered with them and they facilitated the crowdfund, like gave us all of their marketing tools and helped us make a crowdfund video they actually made a single for us, which is the single you just heard, mm-hmm. Promised Land. So we flew there first, recorded the stuff for Promised Land, and then it set up the entire crowdfund. And then once the crowdfund was done, that paid them back for all of the work. And it paid for the four new songs that we recorded with them. So we got five songs total. Um, they're being worked on and mixed as we speak. Our friend Chris is putting guitar on it. And uh, who's he played guitar on the electric guitar on this last one and we have a friend playing a uh, pedal steel on it too that we're really excited about and another friend that's going to do viola yeah so it should be fun but in the meantime we had gone out there and played some shows along the way and we drive everywhere that we go because it's both less expensive and road tripping is really fun big fan you know yeah. so fun, fan. lots of snacks <laughs> and uh, we can play shows along the way too yeah so makes it cheaper yeah so what was the um, what was the nicest place you played while you were on your way out to Boston? Nice in what way? Nice, nice is like you walk in and you're like, wow, this place is tough. Hmm. Like just like cool looking. Like, oh, there was one place in Richmond, Virginia, that was a a kind of like wine bar. I mean, an outdoor wine bar, but it had a really nice stage, and they had a sound guy too that we didn't expect. I mean, it's always nice to have a sound guy mm-hmm. because usually we do our own sound and we set everything up and we have the equipment in the car. But, right. But, you know, this time we didn't have to and <laughs> it turned out really great. And on this particular night, they actually, I guess the booker of the place double booked and somebody else was there ready to play. But we were the ones that were booked. Mm-hmm. So they ended up working it out where the booker was still going to pay the other band and we were still going to play and get full, fully paid, but we split the show. And we played half and they played half. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah. So it made it a really great show. Yeah. Make a friend. Yeah. 
Yeah. Worked out really nicely. What was the sketchiest place you guys stopped at? Ooh. So many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't have to give any names. I'm trying to think of the sketchiest. Oh, was there several? Tell us about all of them. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. This tour, did we have anything sketchy on this tour? We've had, uh, we played at kind of a sketchy place in Alabama once. That was pretty sketchy. No, it wasn't yeah. this tour. Um, I mean, it doesn't have to be this tour. I feel like if, if we didn't go anywhere sketchy, but the Alabama place was kind of funny. Tell us about the Alabama place. <laughs> so it was kind of in the middle of what I thought was nowhere. We're driving around and it doesn't look like there's any kind of inhabitants anywhere or a town. And then suddenly there's magically a, a place for drinking and eating pizza and things in the middle of this kind of ghost town looking place. <laughs> That's the and, South for you. <laughs> yeah, apparently, you know, and we went in and we got ready to, to play our show. And then suddenly people showed up out of the woodworks and it was pretty packed and it was so loud. And I really don't enjoy playing a show in a place where people are just screaming at each other because they can't hear me. I can't hear myself. Right. And it's kind of feels like what's the point of, of us being here. It's just extra cacophonous, you know, but, um, we finished our, we were, we're playing our show. And I think at one point, what did you say that was so funny? So I made a mistake. <laughs> I mean, I'm from Georgia and I, I went to college at UGA and I just kind of assumed, oh, Alabama, these people must be Alabama fans. So I was like, ah, oh, roll tide everyone, right? And it was crickets. It was mm. so quiet because we were in Auburn and Auburn hates Alabama. Like they are apparently huge rivals. <laughs> Like so, <laughs> such big no. rivals that I think it was so bad. The Alabama people came and poisoned this really big old tree there. Oh, yeah, no. it was apparently a really big deal. And anyway, it's like a dangerous rivalry. And there was like one guy in the audience who wasn't from around there, but like had been living there for work, and he understood. And he just started laughing and laughing. And oh yeah, he thought I was <laughs> fucking with them. Like, he thought I was just being an asshole. But no, I genuinely was like, "Roll tight, everyone! Right? Ha ha." <laughs> And everyone was like, It's like no. being in Beaverton and going, go Ducks! You're just like, oh. Oops. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We oh, like no. finished our gig and like left very quickly. I know, nobody <laughs> so said us. anything to us. I think we didn't get any tips. <laughs> no, I don't think we got any tips either. <laughs> nobody except the one guy that was laughing. He was like the only one that talked to us, I think. I know. So that was probably like was the like, least wait, engaged you don't audience. No. And then he told me. So that's the only way I know, like, how I fucked up. <laughs> yeah. So uh, before we got going, we played 20 motherfuckers and both of you guys uh, really seemed to like that song. That mm -hmm. song is by, uh, by the Wyatt Act and uh, Guinevere Q, song. no big fucking deal specifically, is a, a fucking legend in San Francisco. Um, so I was going to play you another song of theirs and this song is called Everything's Fine and uh, it will assure you that everything is uh, in fact fine out there. I think we're going to set you guys up to go ahead and uh, to go ahead and play. Hmm? No, no, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna play the song and then I'm gonna play I'll play I'm gonna play a longer one after that. Um, while we get our guest set up, this is the uh, maiden voyage of the new stage over here. So uh, it's probably gonna take us maybe a song two. Yeah, we'll be right back, <laughs> and then we will have a uh, a live performance by um, by Catalyst. Everything's fine, and everything's fine, and it's great. Thanks. Everything's fine, and everything's fine, and it's great. Thanks. Everything's fine, and everything's fine, and it's great. <laughs> Thanks. Everything's fine, and everything's fine. I hope you have a real nice... The weather, the traffic, the time, and the news. How's your commute? What do you do? Sorry I'm late, I kept hitting snooze. It's just one of those days. You know what they say. It is what it is. Ignorance is bliss. When it rains, it pours. Couldn't ask for more. What goes around comes around all in good time. I guess that your guess is as good as mine. Everything's fine and everything's fine and it's great! Everything's fine. 
everything's fine and everything's fine. I hope you have a real nice...
pretty good. Not bad, I don't think. This is the one song you might want to just play. I did. I know, but I still want to see if I could do it. Most people agree to stone it, he looks like a tweaker But I don't give a fuck, and that's apparent As I dare to word him up to the recently what? Incoherent Sons of bitches that still don't get it So pass it here and let me hit it While you practice getting with it Oh man, just forget it Let me think, oh I forgot I can't think Somebody get me a shrink Nah, fuck that Give me some drink and some dank Cause I checkmate the fakest fake memory bank Cause I'll bust that Groove a list, stick that fuck lip biscuit You looking mini thin ho, have another triscuit What now, did I stutter? You best to put to use these words I utter Cause I rock non-stop, sloppy molly, McButter Stone and E, and Sanch coming straight from the gutter It's time to rhyme, so I'm asking why You're sharing love and smoking, why considered a crime? It's like Jesus, I'm pulling out my hair And following this bottle till I forget how I got here Empty seats is all it seems to be I'm here with Stone and E, and we be smoking weed We cheers up and then pass the green And then we blow our hits right at the movie screen We got kicked out kicked It's kinda pointless to say I didn't wanna see a stupid movie anyway Cause I'm free now free now. Roaming the streets because this is where I live Yeah, this is where I be Rock on with your bad self And I drink up to your bad health And I rock on with your bad self And I drink up, drink up, drink up I'm surprised I'm still around Done thought that I'd be dead by now Audible smoke is the funky sound That we resurrect from the underground I'm surprised I'm still around Done thought that I'd be dead by now Audible smoke is the funky sound That we resurrect from the underground I snap back like elastic straps I'm going spastic to be the mystic intense The hyperactive I'm out on the street at night Looking for action Why? Because I can't get no satisfaction so come in attract to this hip main attraction While I get you tripping with a fraction of the friction You got the wee wee getting key like an ignition So give me that fucking mic and I don't need no permission Rock on with your bad self And I drink up to your bad health And I rock on with your bad self And I drink up, drink up, drink up I'm surprised I'm still around Don't thought that I'd be dead by now Out of both smoke is the funky sound That we resurrect drink up, drink up, drink up I'm surprised I'm still around Done thought that I'd be dead by now Audible smoke is the funky sound That we resurrect from the underground Alright, we are Catalyst My name is Kat And my name's Alyssa We're gonna play you a few original tunes This first one is a summer beachy love song Called Paradise Beat So I'll pass the sands of time Washed up on the beach Oh, 
is a song Your face in my dreams Paradise in your arms And salt inside your screen You are a star Falling on the beach Under the passing of next one is one we just recorded in Boston. So we're really excited to show everyone this song, especially the studio recording of it, which should be out probably in about two months. This one also starts with you. She walks through the door about six times a day Buys another scratch off with her unemployment pay And she says this will be the last, this will be the last one. Walks a mile from his house cause he can't drive a car. He's gotta get some cigarettes to smoke outside the bar. And he says, this will be the last, this will be the last one. I see them all cause I work at the gas station. 
Dedication, silence and gratification, worship and dissipation. So I know they'll pay the price. I work at the gas station, sell souls to the corporation, hazard of compensation. And now I'm just a shell. He always comes along and gets enough snacks for three. Won't meet my eyes, but I hear a silent plea and he says, This will be the last, this will be the last one. She comes in with the kids and gets a six pack or two. She can hide behind the mask, but it won't cover the bruise. And she says, This will be the last, this will be the last one. The mall, cause I work at the gas station, sell instant gratification, worship and dissipation. So I know they'll pay the price. I work at the gas station, sell souls to the corporation, has little compensation. And now I'm just a shell. I know them all by name, for we are one and the same. Society of self reliance, internalize and shame. Used to be self-deniers, now can't deny desire and was stuck. Pleasing fickle brains, consume and to adore the pain. Cause I work at the gas station, sell instant gratification, worship and dissipation. So I know they'll pay the price, I work at the gas station. So I'm sold to the corporation, hazard of compensation. And now I'm just a shell. I'm just a shell. No, I'm just a shell. I'm just a shell. Thank you. Want to do one more? Yeah. <clears throat> this next song, this is our climate change song. And we also just recorded this song as well, so keep keep tuned. Stay tuned. Keep your ears peeled. No. <laughs> Whatever people say. It's the best advice anyone could ever give you. <laughs> Peel your eels, everybody. <laughs> All right. But we still cut scars in her back Floods to flow and droughts to dry While ice melts inside the poles Billions are spent in disaster events But more made selling out our souls Looking down an endless highway Passing cows just waiting to die Smoke in the air We'll sit and stare while we send our prayers to the sky Circle of this life 
there's a food chain and we are at the top running through hurdles we're going in circles so why should we ever stop circle of life where the rich eat the poor and the poor eat the cake sugar and blood and the bones in the mud and the earth will have to bake what's it gonna take Feels growing like a forest of rot Just cause I can must mean that I ought It's the way of this life, that's how it goes I need more gas, need more clothes Trees are cut down and the paper is made To be cut into squares and then thrown away With the trash in the sea while the sea turtles die Glaciers heating up and the ocean's gonna rise Wreck of wildfires on the west coast While we have another drink, have another toast While the coral reefs fry, oceans getting warm Hurricane high for the perfect storm Yeah, arcs getting greener while the desert getting meaner If it stays like this we won't need a heater But who cares, I don't live on the equator Sucks for y'all. Looking down an endless highway, passing cows just waiting to die. We've taken the land, we've taken the sea. Suppose God can have the sky. The circle of this life. It's a food chain and we're at the top. Running through her. the cake sugar and blood and the bones in the mud and the earth will have to bake the laws of nature and economics coincide only the fittest will survive and nature will have to die if we don't sacrifice circle of this life a food chain and we're at the top running through hurdles we're going in circles so why should we ever stop circle of life where the rich eat the poor and the poor eat the cake sugar and blood and the bones in the mud and the earth will have to bake What's it gonna take? 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 What's it gonna Thanks, guys. All right. I think that's good for us. All right. Escape! 
back again that was a fucking lovely set by uh our live in studio guest catalyst thank you thank, thank, you, thank you so you. so much <laughs> thank, thank you, you know, so much for having us I know. when you are uh when you are on the cutting edge of twitch podcasting you <laughs> push the limits all the time no uh, so we set up this other stage back here um yesterday we finally got everything in and then i just i yeah i finally had all my parts and i was able to put it together uh to make it look like a cheesy the second half of the cheesy nightclub that isn't this half that's over here that dave dj's at um so yeah tell everybody where they can find you and uh you know if you have any gigs coming up and let's let's hear about those yeah you can find us on literally anything that you can find music on we're on youtube spotify facebook Amp, Apple, what else are we on? Yeah, I mean, you, and you can find live performances. CD Baby. On, yeah, well, we use CD Baby to put it all well, up. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, right? So or, anything, we have a lot of live performances. Of some, we have a some website. And some covers, yeah, on our website. Yeah, no, we have a long history of a battle with CD oh, Baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. You've been abused by CD Baby. No, our artists have been abused by CD Baby. And in turn, we have because we get takedown notices when there is literally somebody sitting in the studio saying, yes, please play my song. And then wow. we play the song and then CD Baby gets a copyright strike against us and demonetize our video. Oh, no. Lame. But it's okay because we don't have that YouTube channel anymore. But still... <laughs> Well, I take away CD Baby's endorsement. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. We, it's actually an endorsement. We would love for them to sue us. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Grift. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Do you have any uh, gigs or shows or anything coming up? New albums coming out? Well, we are for sure going to have a new EP coming out probably at the beginning of the year. We're just waiting on all the pieces and all the parts to get mixed. And then I think we'll plan for a release at the beginning of next year just to keep things current and whatnot nice. yeah and yeah. uh we don't have any immediate upcoming shows because actually on saturday we're going to germany That's right um, so we're going to be out of the country for a little bit and uh we might do shows over there though Maybe. Maybe. Germany. Are you, you want to fly over there we'll yeah. see it's going to be kind of a loosey-goosey type situation we're but, going for uh, Oktoberfest. we're really going to have fun you know after nice. we're going to go explore all, all this recording all this hard music work that's right. Take a well-needed vacation, learn yeah. some, learn some culture. I joke, but actually, we have been we have been playing so many shows. We are exhausted. We have been, yeah, a lot of well. So here's shows. like one of the questions that we like: what, bands that have been around for like since the early two thousands or whatever. Like we ask when they come on the show, we ask them. So how did the pandemic change your game? 
And did you like upgrade your studio? Did you start learning how to do streaming or anything like that? But mm-hmm. your guys' story is a little bit different because you guys got together and then the pandemic was like right away. Yeah. So and we pretty much started during the pandemic. Right. At least so now that you're coming out of now, well, not that we're coming out of that. They say that we're coming out of that, but it really it's just forever now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> um, how are you going to change into like, are you when people started streaming a lot, the burnout was like a real thing. Mm-hmm. Are you going to get gig burnout because now you're like hitting it on all cylinders? Hopefully not, because I mean this this uh break I think is going to help that. But I think at this point we're probably pretty burned out because we have been on the road so so much. I mean last year we took a big three month long tour. Wow! Just on the road for three months, doing two to three to four shows a week. Yeah, and it's it's a lot. I can't speak for Alyssa, but for me, you know what I would like to see is now that we have you know been on the road and done a bunch of shows, maybe now we can change the types of shows that we're getting we can do slightly shorter shows you know we've been doing a lot of three hour shows which is a long time yeah it's a long time you know yeah it's kind of a standard for wineries and breweries and some restaurants but we do a lot of two hour ones as well but the three hour ones are are pretty exhausting it's a lot you guys are ready to start a twitch channel i mean really honestly honestly seriously because People like try to jump on Twitch and like, I'm going to do like 45 minutes or an hour and they get nothing and build no community because nobody ever knows when you're on. I mean, they do, but they're like an hour long show was like, you might as well not even try a three hour long live show. That's that's insane. That is that is a Twitch stream. That's a full on Twitch. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, we should be twitching all of our stuff. You should. should. You should actually. Is that a verb? Can I use that twitching? Sure. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we're on the cutting edge of everything. Yeah. So, um, when you guys, so you're going to, are you taking your gear with you to Germany? <laughs> we're taking a pared down version. I I have a guitar waiting for me in Ooh. England. That she has uh, family over there. I have family over there, and we were we were traveling just the very beginning. Uh, we were literally traveling March 2020, and had to come back in a hurry. Mm. And I had to leave my my sweet guitar behind expecting I'd be able to get it pretty quickly. Mm. And, uh, it's been, you know, two years later. So guitar be... quarantine is much, is much longer than a uh, human quarantine. It's true. My poor guitar baby is probably feeling <laughs> abandoned and alone. And, uh, so we'll take probably a pared down, you know, a couple of instruments and just kind of see where the, where the spirit takes us. But, you know, you can't exactly go traveling cross country or cross the seas with all of your gear yeah right. well, not, that's, not with everything anyway do you guys ever just kind of uh randomly like go to a park and just start playing yeah actually the first we've time done we, it a couple of times i would times. think that yeah. would be kind of fun to do in europe not yeah. so much here but <laughs> i mean the yeah. first time that's we our ever first gig actually anything together we went out so we were visiting england and we were in stratford upon avon and at this point i brought my giant big heavy bass which is not even the one i was playing with I mean, the one I'm going to bring is a traveler bass, so very light. Anyway, uh, we were trying to play on the street. It, it was, was really, really cold. cold. And we were just, after we'd been out there for like 20 minutes or something, we were like, ah, fuck it. So we got out and we were like, let's go into this pub. And I was like, I need to use the restroom. And so I went into the restroom and Alyssa comes in after like 30 seconds and says, we have a gig at this pub right now. <laughs> and I was like, I'm like what are we going to play? We have no songs down. together. Write down every song you know. So I'm and like I'll on my phone, you. like looking through every, because like, yeah, I had taken kind of a hiatus from playing the guitar for a little while. So I was like, I don't even know what songs I know how to do anymore. So I'm desperately looking through my phone. And it was a two hour show. The guy was like, play two hours. And the owner, um, I guess, saw Alyssa's bass on her back and says hey do you play i'll pay you to play right now for two hours and he plunked a chair down right in front of us and uh listened to the entire show and they're stumbling our way through however many songs that was 24 of them i know oh my god he paid us 50 euro too that's or maybe great pounds. it was great we were like sweet we can buy our dinner with this it yeah was, people were really strength. friendly we did Always a lot of john denver that. oh yeah <laughs> jet plane <laughs> Jet plane. <laughs> That's has amazing. Taken us That's so not, many places. See now, road. you would think like yeah, with uh, with a pared down kind of, um, and the ability to be more mobile like that, for for uh, people who are um that singer songwriting type, and they just like get that creative t- great t- creativity on the fly. That mm-hmm. yeah, that would be just kind of like perfect to go out and 
tool just around jam. and yeah and just jam and I, just, I love doing that just making stuff up as you go like i'm used to that so so many places to drink in your- <laughs> <laughs> so many wonderful places to drink so many wonderful drinks to be had all right. of the beverages so many ciders to cider try. in europe is just next level their ciders are fabulous and it's cool to drink cider there. It's like not as cool to drink it here. I know. Yeah. They think it's like a girly drink or something. You're like, I'll have a cider. And they're like, oh, mm, here's your, you know. I bet they're a lot less sugary and a lot more tart over Yeah, they're there very dry, they very strong, <gasps> very dry and strong. You can easily drink too much cider very quickly. Yeah, I can see that happening. I'm a champagne drinker. and that's Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm with you on that, too. <laughs> <laughs> I love champagne. Fancy. You got some fancy ladies here. <laughs> a <laughs> mug that I could fit one whole bottle of champagne in. Oh, and then I'm just like, wow. I'm just going to have one drink drink tonight it's just the one. <laughs> oh no don't give Alyssa any ideas <laughs> um okay well i think i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this episode up uh thank you everybody for uh downloading and listening to this podcast and if you like what you hear uh check out all of our other podcasts on any podcatcher that you are listening to this one on uh, again this is local love we do this every tuesday at nine o'clock and uh beyond into red light which we're certainly going to be going into so live listeners don't go anywhere. If you want to be a live listener and a live chatter and a live watcher, please go to twitch.tv slash Ecoplex Media um, but pretty much any day of the week. But if you want to watch Local Love, then again, that is at 9 o'clock. Um, I am going to play the one song from them that we did not play, and that is Skyfall. Our guest this evening has been Catalyst. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you for responding to my little uh, blurb that I put in a music group. Yeah. Uh, randomly and I love how um, many new bands we have met definitely go back and uh, and check through the last maybe f- four or five or six episodes of Local Love and all of those are new bands and uh, they have all been fantastic and uh, I'm digging the new the new vibes and the new blood that we've got uh, running through the studio which is uh, yeah it's kind of disco-y and bloody <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, again Yeah, thank you very much, and uh, we'll be right back with Red Light. Lightning in the sky, burning in my bones, trapped in the mist, I've been living in a dome, walking in the woods, with a sword in my
the goth DJs and Twitch witches are hanging out on Thursday for the bad VHS rips, unblinking eyes, and fire by night. Thetans and Satans comes from an interest in the cult of Scientology, moral panics, Satanism, and how they set the tone for the extremist social media panics of today. We really earn our weird left Twitch badge with this show, watching the world go red light in reverse every Thursday at 9 p.m. Pacific on twitch.tv slash echoplexmedia. Find our full schedule at echoplexmedia.com.